Okay then, so the Monaco Grand Prix is underway. The race did start, apparently. The race did start. And I don't think this is gonna last very long. We're gonna see safety car, red flag or something. We are gonna see an incident because I think these cars are gonna be whack at low speed in the wet. This ground effect system ain't gonna be kicking in. We're gonna see an incident, probably multiple. <laughs> Is that why they didn't start the race? Because they know that they've changed the rules so much to aid Red Bull that really the cars are they're not very good. These cars are not very good cars. They're not. I think when we look back in history, we're in the future and we look back at the history, these are gonna be some of the worst cars. They look slow, even in the last race. In Barcelona, the cars look slow. I'm gonna have to look up the, um, the lap time from last year to this year at Barcelona. In fact, all the races that have already had, but the cars are sliding all over the place, man. Poor the ground effect ain't no good at slow speed, especially when you're in the rain. So, I reckon the drivers are loving this, though, you know. The cars are squirming around everywhere. Like they're on the limit and it's making it more difficult because it's wet and I reckon that's what I like it when you see a car like swerving when it comes out of the corner you know that they're on that limit and they don't normally get you don't normally see that obviously because they've got a tyre save and all that kind of stuff it's not the fastest way to drive but it's skill you see the driver's skill when they're like because you know that they're putting out they can't push anymore one extra bit of throttle and the spinning. The, at the start of the race, I thought we was gonna see some incidents, but we've seen nothing. And that goes to show that race control don't know what, they've got no faith in the drivers. I was kind of hope, not hoping we'll see an accident, but I was thinking if we do, then that would that would show that they, they might have been a little bit right, but we've seen nothing. Come on, Leclerc. I don't think he's done it. Oh my gosh, Verstappen ahead of Leclerc. Ferrari, man, dropped the ball, fluffed it. Jeez. Oh, what was that? What was that? Did he cross the pit line? The pit exit line, did he? I hope he did. Uh, Mr. Brundle's talking about, did Max Verstappen cross the pit entry line, pit ex exit line. I hope he did. Okay, Dirty Max. Dirty Max tried to cover off Charles Leclerc, Charles Leclerc as he come out the pits. I've only seen it from one angle, but you can see the way he turned. He, had a, he could have gone straight up the hill as you come out the pits, but he didn't. He crossed the line because he wanted to shut off Leclerc. Give, him a, give the guy a penalty. He's a bad guy. And that, this is why Max Verstappen is the reason why Right? They didn't want to start the race. People like Max break the rules for their own benefit. That's a safety thing. That is a safety thing. Don't cross the pit line on the way in or on the way out because it's not safe. But what does Max do? He does what Max does. He don't give a damn about the rules and he crossed the pit exit line. He better get a penalty. I want to see another way. If any of his wheels cross that line, the better be. The better be. Or I'm going to turn around and say, you know, I can forget this Formula One because it's wasting my time. I've got a game, a football match that I have to watch starting in 40 minutes. And I'm watching this. I could be watching the build up, right? So if Max Verstappen gets away with this, if he's done it, it looks like he has. If he gets away with this, man, I'm not having it. Get the, the flipping sports a joke. I don't want to be wasting my weekends being annoyed at the TV. So if he's crossed that line, if he has crossed that line, Whoa, Char <laughs> car lost sight, sweeping. I mean, it wasn't that much of a good save. Commentators are hyping it up a bit, but he nearly lost it. But as I was saying, because people don't stick to the rules, we can't get to watch the races with us fans. Because the, the um, race control, the FIA, have to take, over, take extra precautions because you've got morons driving the cars. Punish them! Punish them! Especially Max Verstappen, I'm sick of that. Oh my God, I'm sick of that guy. <laughs> right, we're on lap 26. 
We've got Perez, Sainz, Verstappen, Leclerc, Russell, Norris, Alonso, Hamilton still in eighth, then Ocon and Button. Bottas, <laughs> Button, you know, Bottas. Why are we not seeing this replay of Max Verstappen crossing that safety car line? I mean, the um, pit line, the pit lane exit. I'm sure he did. He turned out to, to cover off Leclerc. Smell something funny. Max Verstappen smells something funny. Yeah, good. Oh, we got a massive crash. Huge. The car's in half, man. What's going on? Magnussen's out. What? Jeez, man. Looks like a huge crash. Huge. Huge. We've got double yellows, but I can't see it staying as that. Car's in half, man. Again, it's crazy when you see that. Obviously, let's all hope he's all right. They are very, very slow making these decisions. Do you know what I mean? They've just called, they called a virtual safety car than a real safety car when it's obvious they're gonna need, it's either a red flag or a safety car. Like, it's, you can see straight away. They was waiting double yellows, double yellows for about a minute. Then they went to virtual safety car for another minute. And then they go to full safety car when they could have just gone bang, full safety car straight away. It's obvious. How are they going to remove all that stuff? They need space. They need a gap in the traffic. So how do you get gap in the traffic? Safety car. I know I'm moaning again, but come on, man. Be on it. I want to see professionals do professional work, professional driving, professional people behind the scenes. I don't want to be sitting here thinking, well, that's going to be a safety car. And I'm waiting, 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 waiting. Oh, virtual safety car. Okay, then. Yeah, okay, we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Our oh, safety car comes out. And watch now. Watch them flipping start throwing a red flag. It's a joke if they do. If they do, right, if a red flag comes because of this crash, put my football on. Don't forget it. That's crazy to see. <laughs> They're wheeling the back of the car away. <laughs> I ain't never seen that before. They just wheeled the back of the car away on its two wheels. Crazy. I was mad to see that. But Schumacher's all right. He's out of the car. And here we go. Red flag. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. They need time to fix the barrier. Well, fix the barrier then. What's the problem? Serious. Serious, man. Fix the barrier. The cars are already driving around past the people that was fixing the um, thing. All they need to do is get out of the way. Then you've got like two minutes to do something. Then you've got 30 seconds, let the cars go past. Then two minutes, you do your work. 30 seconds, let the cars go past. After they've passed, you run out on your track. You do your work, you've got two minutes. Then you let the cars go past for 30 seconds. What is wrong with doing that? Red flag. Jeez. Well, that's it then. I'm afraid. I've got to be a man of my word. I'm going to go watch my football. I've got half an hour for my team to kick off. Nottingham Forest. Premiership team. Okay. The Premier League. It's not the Premiership no more. The Premier League. Well, it's still the Premiership. They just don't call it the Premiership. It's called the Premier League now. So, anyway. I'm just going to have to go and... I'm have to go and watch that, I'm afraid. I ain't got time to be wasting my time on this. They went from double yellows to virtual safety car to actual safety car to a red flag. Now, come on. I remember when I used to watch Formula One, right? And it used to go, there's an incident. Obviously, the uh, marshals would do their job instantly and wave a double yellow flag if it was a bad one. And then the guy who's running the race Race control will go, bang, red flag, red flag situation, red flag. That'll be it. Straight to the red flag. No messing about with no safety car deployment. And then stepping it up, we went from double yellows to a virtual safety, to a full safety, to a red flag. Why can't they make judgment? Why? And it's not like they went, yeah, they're talking about it now. Talking about my, my, um, my match that I want to watch. But anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm, I don't care. I don't, I don't even care if I'm wrong. I watch this sport because I want to watch the sport. And I think I know enough to see what's going on. I've been watching it for a while. They never used to mess around like this all the time. Do my head in and I could see it happening. You know foolishness is going to happen. They shouldn't be watching a sport like that. 
I even said, yeah, oh, here we go. There you go. Max Verstappen crossed the safety line, right? He crossed the line. Max Verstappen crossed the um, pit lane line. He crossed the pit lane line. What's going to happen about that? What's going to happen about that? Where's the penalty for this? And this is why the safety, like I just said a minute ago, people like Max Verstappen that don't follow the safety rules make it so we can't watch our racing. Make it so they don't let the cars go out in the rain because you've got morons like Max Verstappen that don't stick to the rules. Sakes, man. I'm done with this. I'll tell you what, I am done with this. Lap 30, right, on the Monaco Grand Prix, whatever the date is today, I'm, I'm done with it. Because we just watched a replay and not one commentator was saying anything. I'm sure, I'm sure you're not allowed to cross that line. That's why it's there. You're not allowed to come out of the pits and cross the line until the line stops. Then you can be anywhere on the track that you want. But that line's there for safety reasons. Max Verstappen crossed the line and no one's saying anything. We just watched the replay. And the commentators are talking about something completely different. What's going on here? Jeez, man. Jeez. You know, if it wasn't for this channel, this YouTube thing, I would have done with this sport a long time ago. Seriously. Serious. It's only the fact that I talk about this on the internet is why I'm still watching it. I think I think I'm done. If I keep talking, I might I'll keep talking. But I'm I'm inside me. I am done with this. This is not something I want to watch. Now, luckily, Forest need to win this game and get into the Premiership so I can get back into football. It might be a blessing in disguise. It might be a blessing in disguise. Formula One's done. The world knows, the universe knows that I am done with this. So they're giving me something else. And Forest are gonna win the game today. Flying colours. We're gonna we're gonna be in the Premiership. The Premier League. I keep calling it the Premiership. The Premier League. Come on, you Reds. Formula One, do one. Formula One can do one. How, that, that Verstappen guy. Better be getting some kind of penalty. Telling you. Safety procedures. He breaks safety procedures all the time. All the time. No one's saying anything about it. He crossed the damn line. I'm certain of it. Hopefully I'm wrong. <laughs> Hopefully I'm wrong. But I've seen two angles now. And both angles show that Max Verstappen crossed that line before he should have done. And nobody is saying a word. Nobody. It's a joke. Right, I'm out of here. I think I, we might not. That, this might be it for this. Lap 30. This might be it. Just watching Charles Leclerc now, just shaking his head. He's drinking a drink of water, shaking his head, thinking, what have I got to do, man, to get something from this race? What have I got to do? My car either breaks or the team messes up the, the strategy. What's going on, man? Just shaking his head. It's like me. Do you know what it is? You might drive a Ferrari, but it's all about money. And if, if Ferrari play the game and let Max Verstappen win the championship again, then they'll still get money. It's all part of the show. It's all part of the show. Let's see if anybody else crosses that line like Max Verstappen's allowed to. Flipping joke, man. But it's, it's all right. It just confirms to me that Max Verstappen did not beat Lewis Hamilton last season. He didn't. He was helped and aided and allowed to get away with the stuff that you're not allowed to. And it's happened again and again and again. I don't care how, how petty this might be, but you're not supposed to cross that line. And the reason that we didn't get a start of a race like we're supposed to is because people break the rules and they get allowed to do it. And the person that does that the most is Max Verstappen. How many times has Max Verstappen driven at full speed under double yellow flags? How many times has he done that? So we've got to sit here and not be able to watch our sport because we've got a moron like Max Verstappen that breaks the rules and a bunch of twats that just don't, don't. Oh, look clear on the radio, his team telling him to box and telling him to stay out. Gosh, man, that's where the race has been lost for him. 
He's fourth now. Should be in first. He's in fourth. Jeez, man. But anyway, this is the reason why we can't watch our sport as fans. It's the reason why the cars weren't allowed out on track. Because people break the rules and get allowed to do it and make it dangerous for other drivers and dangerous for themselves. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. It continues, don't it? So now, now the cars are going back out onto the circuit and we're not having a standing start. So how, how, you can't be a fan of Formula One nowadays. I'm sick of it. I'm so, I'm so sick of it, man. Like, when you know a sport, you should be able to predict what's going to happen. Right, everyone's, everybody's got slick ties on. Everybody's got slicks on. And we're having a rolling start. Not a standing start. What, what do the rules say? Why is it not a rolling start? Just make it up as you go along. It's a joke, man. I'm sick of it. Seriously. Seriously. Don't, I can only keep saying I'm sick of it. That's how sick of it I am. You should be able to predict. Okay, this is what's going to happen now because that's the rules. What rules? Rules don't matter. Well, do they matter? Do they not matter? Is Hamilton in the car and his jewelry? Eh? Should he be? Shouldn't he be disqualified or whatever they said they're going to do? What's going on? Did he take his jewelry out? Did he not? Did he? Did he not? I don't know. Come on then, in implement your rules. Ban him. Ban him. Come on. What are you waiting for? He said you was going to ban him. He said you was going to fine him. He said you going to do what he's going to do. He didn't do it. Full of it. Formula One are full of it. What's going on now? Safety cars, safety car. How, long, how many laps is the safety car doing? What are we waiting for? Oh, we're waiting for the lapped cars to join the back of the grid. Oh, is that a new rule for 2022? No, that's the rule that wasn't followed in 2021, isn't it? So the safety car now, we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Jeez, man. Jeez. Jeez. Right, okay, yeah, Perez leading the race. Yeah, whatever happens, happens. I don't care. I'm going to go watch my football later. I'm out of here.